business theorists have studied competition for decades, and they've come to some robust conclusions about how we compete and what factors compel us to compete the way we do. That's the topic of this lecture, the main types of business strategies. Our objective is to learn the major ways that firms and people compete economically with each other and how these modes of competition also apply across non-business activity. We also learn how to use this knowledge so that we might compete more effectively by obtaining what we call a competitive advantage. After this lecture, you should have a much better idea of how to position your business and position yourself successfully in competitive situations of all kinds. First, we look at the two main ways that businesses compete in the marketplace. This is your basic choice, what we call differentiation or cost leadership. Think of these two strategic thrusts as umbrellas and we move freely under one or the other. Under these two big umbrellas, differentiation or cost leadership, we can do many things, many different things. We can, can apply tactics. We can focus on different parts of our value chain. We can joust with our opponents in shrewd ways. We can focus on a particular segment of a market. We can concentrate our resources in special and unique ways. But always, we find ourselves traveling in one of two directions, differentiation or cost leadership. Now, Michael Porter introduced this quite brilliant categorization back in 1980 in a classic work called Competitive Strategy. Let's have a look. First, let's have a look at cost leadership. And this is sometimes called the low-cost strategy. The objective of this strategy is to sell our products and services at the lowest price that the market will bear and make our profits on volume. We find ways to cut our costs and to attract value-conscious customers. Our target customers are motivated primarily by low prices. They usually don't have much loyalty to our brand, or any brand for that matter. They'll switch to a lower price product immediately. Now, if we produce a commodity such as crude oil, we're almost locked into this strategy. Commodities are difficult to differentiate. We can't attract more customers or charge higher prices by packaging our crude oil in colorful barrels or giving it a catchy brand name or by hiring Michael Jordan for our advertisements. Here's an example of the low-cost strategy in action. Most of us are familiar with the big box retailer Walmart. Now, this company is one of the great icons of American capitalist success with 6,000 stores and more than $250 billion in annual sales, Walmart is the world's largest retailer. Now, Walmart has pursued almost exclusively a low-cost strategy. This has been reflected in its motto for much of its history, always low prices. Walmart's brand stands for something in the minds of its customers and it has resulted from a consistent pursuit of its elegant business model make its profit on volume, stock its shelves in volume, and it obtains volume discounts, squeeze its suppliers, and pass the savings on to you, and you enjoy everyday low prices. But our inclination is to tinker with a successful model, sometimes for the better, but straying from a proven strategy without sound reasons is never a good idea. For instance, Again, Walmart. Walmart has strayed from its core strategy on occasion as it tries to capture more customers. Nothing wrong with that. But this just muddies up the brand. It muddies up what people expect when they walk into the store. In 2007, Walmart shelved its 19-year-old motto and adopted a new motto. Save money, live better. Now, this vague catch-all slogan was a blunder. In fact, it was one of a series of strategic blunders that decoupled Walmart from the secret of its success. Walmart wanted to attract newer middle-income customers with more buying power, but it began to alienate its base, the blue-collar workers that had served as the backbone of its success. It changed its store layout so it looked, frankly, more like a Target store. It eliminated what it thought was clutter, it dropped more than 300 popular low price items and prices began to creep up. The new slogan didn't work 
And even though there was a recession on, the low price items were missing. And people, they hated the new store layout. After three years, Walmart chucked it all. And in 2011, the store brought back hundreds of items and advertised the fact in its stores with signs saying, it's back. Walmart's tinkering with its formulas stopped, at least for the moment. Walmart went back to its roots in 2011 with its slogan, low prices, every day, on everything. Now, another firm tinkering disastrously with a winning low price formula was the movie rental company, Netflix. Netflix had begun offering DVD rental by mail and was trying to expand into on-demand internet streaming media. By early 2011, it had more than 23 million subscribers. Highly successful and blessed with phenomenal growth, Netflix in late 2011 made two incredibly bad strategic decisions. First, it arbitrarily raised its prices by 60% and it offered a limp rationale that merely angered subscribers. Second, it split its services into two separate entities, streaming and mail order, and it set up two separate websites. As a result, Netflix lost almost one million subscribers, a discovery that Netflix commanded very little respect as a brand. Customers shopping on price left for competitors, Amazon.com, Google, in Walmart, and Netflix stock dropped. The company, Netflix, immediately reversed track on the dual website idea, having Here's learned the declared one mission believes a valuable Coca-Cola. lesson about the importance of having and maintaining to refresh the a core world, strategy at all to times, to inspire moments of optimism. Some products virtually demand a low-cost strategy value to be used and make a difference. Now, these products are called commodities. But mission statements An can example be mundane, of a product that demands a low-cost strategy is cement. Forgotten. Now, cement is a Often commodity. The company, it's tough to differentiate in its cement. routine. You can't alter its, its features in lost. meaningful ways. Its environment to sterile, appeal to customers. Of emotional power. You can't sell scented Look hard cement or sell it in colorful, individually packaged about servings strategy. or sell it with if a the freshness date stamp with or such like. jargon. And this if means dull, that cement companies talk about increasing price. shareholder wealth. Well, this is talks in vague terms margins are low leadership and the competition If you can't even fierce. tell what the company does by reading the statement, now, let's translate the low cost strategy to right the individual there. person competing, say, the founding in the job myth market. and the mission. When people well search for a for job, planning many emerges. of them unwittingly the direction the bad and the tone for the objective. They pursue a low cost One of the great strategies, strategies when they should be pursuing the past 20 years differentiation is the iconoclast Henry Men's picture at a job hunter going into an interview. Minsberg has a healthy with a sign skepticism around his neck about the ways of strategic planning and the ways it can go wrong. Less. And he has a special place soul in his is heart pursuing what is elegant, called a the low-cost strategy. Exciting it strategy. means that she is competing a strategy on price that does nothing board. else. Her price, of course, is once salary. said that it means she about worked longer hours for make less reach pay. For the snooze button. She unwilling, but unwittingly advertises herself as a commodity. Instead of the hard work of differentiating herself, she chooses the easy path. We get worse costs, predictable, slashing her salary generic, demands, uninspiring. She and tries dull. to undercut her strategy competition by offering more of the same, but for less. So an uninspiring now, strategy foolish, is really it? no strategy. Why would anyone want to compete this the way? The most interesting and most successful Everyday companies low wages. are not boring, and yet they have many novel, people do. Creative, inspiring, especially sometimes even playful college graduates. By taking the whole time, business strategy the less of seriously, they even end up many with professional more companies results. fear to differ- differentiate themselves, in the believing that they may lose the stray walk of an customer. inspiring mission Take statement. Take the chiropractor, the product for instance. is coffee. The old joke the company about chiropractors is equal exchange. Anyone with a back is Based a customer. in Massachusetts, this little company charted a unique course in marketing in 1986. Strategy. With they no sell a variety of products between chiropractors, with their core business, customers will seek out coffee. the lowest priced in the market. The essence Thus, of chiropractors their are vision the and mission the is of supply and demand. To they charge what everyone else charges. Connection between people may be a bit less. All rely on. They didn't just but want to sell a coffee. Chiropractor they wanted to change the world with how they sold say, coffee. And they wanted to do it in a pain. way, an inspiring way. Suddenly, with your hourly rate in hand went up. They took the next step. Sure, you've lost and the laid out a series of achievable and a host objectives. Of non-athletes, but Help every farmers athlete and their families no gain more control over their out. economic futures. You have moved Provide yourself high from high foods to, to a premium product. Soul. You have moved Put company yourself control from Walmart in the hands of the people to who did the actual work. You have, in fact, established a community of people 
who believe that honesty, now in the realm of the military, and mutual we also benefit find low cost are and different strategies. This is a one, brilliant exposition all armies of the mission conflict and the establishment the same of way. objectives. Low cost. All of equal exchange Delivering the marketing same product in as message. efficient a way as Look possible. At a package of equal exchange Undifferentiated coffee. strategy and Everything tactics about it that speaks to the company's unimaginative warfare whole bean, and pointlessly organic bloody mind, results. body, and soul. Over the now top this charge is mission focus machine gun fire at and barbed wire. A superb norm. example of defining this is a the military mission, version of price competition. Strategic planning. Gains are rare. And now, losses can be headed. Now we can for both begin sides. to locate the beginning it was of not strategic until almost planning three in the military. Years passed before the marshalling of resources, the training of soldiers, the arming of soldiers to their maneuver on the battlefield. Way. All of the this invention of and use of the tank and planning. Broke the stalemate of trench warfare Prior to the Napoleonic era. Technological innovation planning was the province turned of the, the tide of, of the monarch with the a differentiation strategy. Trusted confidants. The development of military the staff planning is not saw just about technology. It's also During about the Napoleonic people. Era. Do you create special elite this was the divisions of, the most of your famous best military planning staff, or do you staff, spread your best troops around, hoping to staff, raise the quality which came into of being all in your divisions? At the order of in King World War Frederick, II, the Wilhelm Allies III, and the Axis powers, this became a different full-time body guiding the Prussian Germany army, learned and the lessons of World by law War I in and it went for differentiation. This was it the built first general staff elite division. And use these troops. Now, it was at this juncture in history that recognition preparatory or staff work was just as essential operation. to wartime operations. The United States as took an leadership. egalitarian approach. The and idea spread of their best troops evenly throughout the army. Made its way slowly in into the, end, the business realm. The U.S. After World War I, defeated Germany, and there were early efforts in high the 1920s strategy using Harvard many University units with what was called roughly the Harvard quality. policy model. This was World a planning method in turn that was provided more a of a general a call to action than an actual U.S. business after the war. Although it amounted little, but low but price, little more than a general attaboy approach, the way it to did lay important groundwork, and it charted a direction in thinking that we could join later strategy with military methods of planning differentiation post. World War II While World War era. II in Europe was won on a high-volume strategy, Ford Motor Company the war was in, in Asia financial trouble ended with an extreme II, example of and differentiation. Was an administrative chaos. The first use of the head of the company weapons. was Henry Ford. Japan Henry was on Ford the receiving II. end, and, and the knew conclusion new and radical was needed to change the fortunes of the company. Is the way to win. His company had been producing vehicles the for the States, military throughout Harvard World Business War II. Harvard Business School guru Michael so Porter he looked articulated the this principle. And he began Ford pointing out quite reasonably that if the United States Army could conduct itself, a successful invasion of Normandy, that is race across buyers, France and defeat Hitler's Germany, defeat Imperial price. Japan, with all of this Titanic logistical operations involved in fielding an army of selling twelve million men, or a USP. surely there was something in military Many methods make the common mistake of unfocusing the proposition, even problems. to the extent that it's no longer unique. Ford they believed the U.S. Army, mistakenly. Air Force, office ambiguity is a good thing. He Why? hired ten because former they believe it allows them to who became do more things as for the different kids. types of people. They brought with them advanced and as planning, a result, organization, the brand is management diluted control until systems, eventually and they it can become fiscal and process discipline. The man of the many companies out leader there that advertised themselves as offering as Robert a McNamara solutions and he was quickly tapped as a Say future what? leader of Ford. It means he started as manager nothing. of planning and Here's financial a analysis to show and he advanced exactly through a series I mean. of top level management this positions the adult by 1955 test. to discover Nakamura whether a slogan or a USP is tightly Ford focused and powerful try this these managerial the methods question could be attached equally well to order, Columbia to Ford's administrative chaos Joe's over the barber next shop, 15 years. A software company, and perhaps wittingly, an airline, the kids charted and the course of American bookstore. strategic business thought it's likely an for the next 20 years. Generic and Let's call it the slogan. rise of strategic Exhibit planning. Exhibit A? Is Grolsch, but American beer. corporations began to base their strategic Grolsch plans beer. primarily this craft on beer's awful financial long data. Time slogan was collating the financial figures from the previous year, is mastering, preparing their spreadsheets, making could forecasts refer to power based tools on those figures, or to the and then setting the budget. Adult bookstore planning had become at one time mobile oil exercise used. Used. conducted. We want once you a to year. live. All which is a nice sentiment, I suppose, but precision. which could apply to most any business. The planners began moving Companies farther, selling a commodity from the mission nothing to the differentiate it, and they focused on budget numbers on as a subject slogan for engagement, no real reality. focus. But the but problems there are also with planning examples at this of point superb were really hidden. They were hidden by the dominance of American differentiated might. products. In the post-war world, America the same few competitors. The American industrial function. supremacy served the to Rolex hide whatever watch defects planning and had the Casio watch. on into the 1960s.
Now, both Rolex Defense and the Casio digital were ever larger time as the years passed. Do they compete in the same market space? Now, flush with no, success at not. Ford, the whiz kids you went don't to Washington find them sold at the beginning of the, the 1960s. Stores. Or the McNamara channels. joined the presidential you don't administration see the of John F. Kennedy, media. a secretary Nor of defense. You find the same celebrities he determined that strategic them. planning would be elevated Rolex to the highest Casio organizational levels of government against each and other. He created a high they priesthood not of planners who reported directly to reality. The Casio and Rolex offerings are different Charles products, Hitch with different Adam Marmolinsky. Let's look. McNamara's model of strategic Casio planning has been applied has to many great other public sector organizations over the for years, a basic digital and it watch. does seem to have and a kind of to more than internal logic to it. Dollars for watches it appears to work, Pathfinder series, though only if you exclude outdoor many sportsmen. crucial variants. And five hundred dollars for its edifice. Smart through the nineteen sixties, the gospel the watches of strategic planning and spread well and became embedded in the American instance, corporation as a standard. Casio has offered tool a sports in virtually watch every Fortune five hundred barometric pressure readings, which are then Converted into altitude measurements complex, based on international plans, standard atmospheric values, elaborate forecasts of company built in performance, thermo in the sensor, and gives reliable markets. temperature readings. And it Early gives you the time in 48 more of the world's than it cities. It yielded <laughs> also distorted down to 100 meters. In the this decade watch, of sold US industrial dollars, it didn't matter as much. Rolex, but as the 1970s is dawned, and complexity imposed At the low itself, end of Rolex, the challenge of the perpetual air and the power was around the Arab oil states revealed the poverty of and the higher end, planning model. There was the oyster perpetual Among day, other things, date. It ignored now, human irrationality these and decision making. Of the day, date, and the actions with the of other players watch, in the great games described. of politics and commerce. Even the Rolex in later years recognized the flaws with 42 in its early baguette diamonds. And that round even the best two plan, baguette diamonds, the most set securely on the dial, rooted in data, and rational calculation, may prove useless in the face of the inevitable irrationality of human and behavior. This is ironic. And the unpredictability with Roman numerals of the external on the dial. The price? If we recognize the pitfalls in early strategic planning, perhaps we can correct using and build Roman a better numerals. model. Henry Mintzberg identifies now, both three watch brands are that have worked against quite well. planning since its inception. They are so differentiated First, in fact the that they don't even compete against each other. We Casio believe that we can know the rugged, future, high -tech and this leads us to the predict price. and prepare Rolex line of offers true luxury. But of course, for what we can't expect to pay. For and true basing our plans prestige. on this single line and of thought, a message of it can be disastrous that never goes out of style. Second, is the fallacy of another example. And this, this refers to the, the tendency of planners to remove themselves from the scene of the action. Cars. If this that is car strategic is formulation Nano super compact from its, its implementation under three thousand dollars. Third is the fallacy of formalization. Is a Lexus LS now, this is the ossification of strategy in a binder mentality. The strategic now, plan a is in a binder. Seventy two thousand dollars. put it on the shelf. What constitutes and this gap between the two vehicles? It begins detached from One reality and as the days low and weeks go on, fulfilling it the becomes even less of a representation for transportation of what the company the other actually does. Is pursuing a premium the more pricing plans, differentiation the more strategy, elaborate, fulfilling a host of other needs and demands so, that people this leads are willing to, an to obvious pay question. Differentiation if strategic planning has such an ignominious track adding attractive and seems functional in hindsight, delivering a crucial why service, we superb, it, except as an unfortunate all of these things people hiccup. will pay for. Just this differentiation also means establishing beginning in the late 1970s, creating an aura. Best business thinkers Take, for began instance, to actually tennis shoes. Well, not they just began to tennis think shoes. about strategy Nike tennis and shoes. how they actually made Gear decisions. Here is a product that's differentiated and began by to connect this process of thinking. To the this real world, where the strategy incredible value to the brand and to the logo. Marking this in new this thinking case, was the publication Nike of a powerful logo, logo and the stable of celebrities that endorsed the company. shoes. The global manager are Nike shoes truly firm. worth up to two hundred dollars more than its called competitor shoes? The evolution even when there's no strategic management, really no and it traced the evolution of effectiveness of strategic stance decision making. Yes, McKinsey identified the concept phases of, of worth has no meaning outside the people who established worth with their and preferences. And left it vulnerable so those to Nike tennis shoes are worth exactly this article call what people changes are in the way we think them. and the way we conceive. Now, even a outside plan. the business world, the concept of a differentiation strategy at these has phases to recommend so that we can understand how we reached our present differentiation point. can win the day. The first phase was the 1950s, the stages of the Cold phase. War. 
the United States financial military planning saw phase. a renaissance of now, this strategic view, planning, planning is, is almost a this purely financial problem was, was conducted as an annual new generation budgeting of exercise. differentiated technology. We've seen how this is inadequate. The Soviets and yet, could this not focus imitate. lingers on in some Soviets businesses. were still competing in the era of easy. ICBMs or intercontinental ballistic missiles. Was forecast based bombers, planning, which recognized that ballistic deeper missiles. thinking is necessary the strategic about triad. resource allocation. The U.S. And the development this way as well. Both competed mostly the third on phase volume. was externally oriented planning. Until about this kind of planning was even better. The Reagan because administration it announced the strategic the defense initiatives. With the this was a radical departure from the previous Cold War military balance, which relied upon the old strategic the triad, final and highest as phase Kennedy had done with the program management to put a man and on the moon. Here we aim to well strategic planning and management in existing advantages in basic science of that research and overall the economic of strategy conception up in execution balance. This means to new sources the ability to think strategically out. The entire While the U.S. public mostly debated whether so-called Star Wars lasers this, of course, could actually work, easier, just like in the movies. Done. In reality, fixation this is on any rarely accomplished because, because of natural the point, inertia, of the distribution defense. of power. And Instead, the unity of effort, SDI, was really so this a brings set us of advances to the state across an entire spectrum today of weapons systems. Our purposes, advances in stealth planning process, and many incredible benefits led to the stealth bomber, it correctly, the stealth fighter, and here I offer a six-step technology, strategic planning neutron process, anti-tank weapons, six and steps weaponized to the laser of competent research. strategy. Here, Together, we learn the fundamentally alter the balance of power and accelerate the collapse how of to the develop Soviet a strategy Union. in building block form development and deployment of new technology strategic broke planning the stalemate in the late one 1980s. version of planning much it's as not it broke the, the only world process. war one stalemate of trench every competent warfare. firm has its and own version of this process it may be of five island steps. hopping it in may the be Pacific. seven steps the decisions of the main differently in different we fashion in this lecture. achieved victory the remainder will be covering that brings us to one of the most difficult tasks in business the mission figuring out how to differentiate Situation analysis, strategy tough, formulation, differentiating a strategy implementation, but it's been done successfully in many cases, control. both well known and not so well known. First, let's Your take mission. the commodity product. I began coffee. this lecture with a dramatic call coffee. to action. Your mission Some is people your buy their coffee in plain white cans. Define your Market mission the word now. Coffee. Can you it's do a kind it in a few short sentences, sentences or even one sentence. product has the same You'd be surprised how many people take package. this for granted in coffee both their in personal a can is a and ground their professional up lives. brown. Bean. Entire companies now, can take this for granted. Many people don't Never realize that there are two major kinds in the setting of coffee beans: of robusta and arabica. The second step robusta is the setting of yield objectives. coffee with a bitter you choose taste. these based on some notion cheaper, of and one weathers the elements better at harvest time. They should be clear. Arabica offers a mellow, rich taste, and in some sense, they should be and it's less hearty. You want to see progress towards your mission. Now this. The difference between your progress Arabica and, the and robusta beans hasn't strategy. proven enough to differentiate meals coffee served, in a meaningful way. Number of satisfied Especially clients, when the folks at Maxwell House and Folgers increasing, mix the two types of targets beans. are met. Revenues so are increasing. How you differentiate the hill is coffee. taken from the enemy. Think you complete med Starbucks. school. You complete your first tour in the Howard Schultz, Schultz, CEO of Starbucks, differentiated coffee. Now, not the third step features, is pivotal for most by firms, way, and it is the most involved. He created the concept of environmental style coffee house in the United States. After a trip from Milan, functions. Italy, both the he pioneered the notion that he could change the more, internal excuse me, charge more on for a his personal more expensive level. We evaluate the external factors that by serving on us in a unique manner to our objectives. Fed into the notion, we of devote lifestyle. several upcoming lectures to the scanning of our environment, Starbucks, what to look for, and how and low-key ambiance became it's the third place that we should develop people. knowledge about our own by capabilities this and resources, place and then evaluate them against the outside environment and work. To see if we can actually Starbucks do became what we a destination, to do. not just a stop. But as we saw in our discussion, by any measure, Starbucks succeeded stupendously following its 1985 isn't debut. All that common. But by the 2007, now the fourth Starbucks step had seen is the actual formulation of our way. strategy. We decide what we will Schultz actually gone do for several years to get as CEO. We are. Others decided to, where to do we what to many be. firms do. We decide when the goal the when, of growth, where, and how much all of our plans. We allocate resources. And we connect Starbucks our management to decisions change with the, the folks format who of actually to make it more plan. inviting to other types of The fifth step in New York is instance, implementation of the our strategy. The idea that hundreds and of people is where many companies by the store every hour efforts. beckon. The military has a dictum be for its officers into the when directing shop, the soldiers with a wider selection of food and beverage. And refine. And so this means not to simply issue orders and, and then assume they'll be carried the out as issued. 
Once a hating for your style us that creating too many young professionals factors can disrupt even the best of like the plans. The variables By switching can wreak to a less on differentiated order. strategy, we must constantly it supervise and refine during the implementation phase. Customers. And this leads us to the effect, final step of the strategic its planning process, while making itself more control. like every other joint. Control is just what it sounds like. Deli meets? We develop a control mechanism Starbucks to evaluate also missed if our plan is opportunity to deepen its identity in response to the Is our plan getting the results we wireless want? network access? If not, what Why Starbucks not? could We're and should have done was immediately offer their wireless all around access us. to deepen its status. In university classes, the premier the control third mechanism destination. Destination. regular examinations to, to verify that both learning and teaching strategies slow are working. Offer free Wi-Fi. And when it in did, manufacturing, it was already the quality control department new is a method of control and evaluation. And, and this helps the firm discover systemic deficiencies. The Japanese concept Howard of Kaizen, or continuous in 2008, improvement, is a form and under Schultz's control. revitalization initiative, now, Starbucks when our began to regain the monitoring cachet. system tells us that By something is amiss in our strategy, and we can its then circle back to our environmental scan to discover now, we've if looked the relevant at differentiation and we looked at cost leadership. Change. There's the third path as that we a think about our business strategic can follow, planning an process. We should remember to remain rooted in our purpose in pursuing a highly targeted market, what focusing your resources, strategy, serving that tight. We don't want segment, to do things just whether like everyone else. Leadership, we don't want to be yet another Me Too offering in the marketplace. It's called undifferentiated in any meaningful way. We are not Focus filling is exactly out what a it checklist. sounds like. You slice off we a narrow spectrum of the definition of strategy from Michael on Porter. That it means doing this is things much more than differentiation. This is Focus one of the most incredibly hyper takeaways that the world of strategy can offer. Here are some examples. And it comes from his powerful 1996 article in Ethnic Harvard Grocery Stores, catering to what the specific needs of a highly identifiable subset of the grocery industry. What does it take? Industry. Creating the different producers products of ultra high end motor cars, cars ways. Such as it means taking resources upwards of largely available to each, everyone or and then assembling them cars. in a way these that yields competitive advantage. Target the highly specialized it also takes time of a narrow market Michael Porter's and fulfill them the proper time better than frame anyone else. Strategic planning may very well One be of my favorite examples of a company pursuing a Maybe focused that strategy seems impossible. Is equal exchange Maybe coffee, for your organization which we looked looking at five years ahead lecture. is all you can do. This is the for-profit firm is that the time frame as of if a single it's a non-profit social planning cycle is typically not enough equal exchange for sells coffee to be successful. Not just any kind of coffee. Remember the but plan recommended to President Kennedy for and beating the Russians in space? Exchange guarantees beating the Russians that its coffee is literally produced a by farmers who receive a far higher than market price for their well, coffee beans. As Porter noted, a long-range plan fosters improvements the brilliant in the individual business model behind it. And the fit across you recall that Walmart allows an organization to build suppliers and it passes the savings on to you. To its strategy. Equal exchange coffee pays above now, as we enter into the strategic planning process, and it passes this the idea of seeking onto you. competitive advantage by Customers doing who are things motivated different by social should justice inform us and have disposable income to spend in that way. Strategic planning we'll has gladly pay the higher price. Inher adherence and its equal exchange coffee it has time time in increasing and it can the take perceived too value of its product. Especially if the plan is never to a social justice cause. Used mindlessly, the Consumers process can ignore not only good far coffee, more than it reveals, but a clear Perhaps conscience nothing and more a warm than an annual budget that they're doing good in the world. Like any process, strategic Equal exchange has a niche. Perfect. Focused strategy that if targets a highly specific strengths, market and stay sharply drawn its characteristics. We can make use this of the technique likely will for not our own substantially because of that. But it is what we a have discussed niche, in this lecture, even if they never get on the menu. Planning plus Starbucks. with specific attention to the core mission. Another example of a we'll cover the other steps of the incredible planning new and in later lectures. Soft for now, 1985, be aware that no one can develop cola. a competent and now, this effective cola strategy was created as a reaction to the increasing health consciousness, consciousness of America for business people or for at the, the time of were reducing goals. caffeine if there is sugar intake at the time. Jolt Cola, Near when the beginning of this trend, lecture, I presented Jolt you Cola's to you the example of the French Foreign Legion all the sugar and organization and twice the with a superb sense of self in and mission Jolt derived from a conflict on a dusty battlefield clearly positioned itself as a renegade ago. and an alternative to the what are the foreign legion soft drinks today? on the market? It targeted young people Each with year, a maverick streak. French Foreign Legion it was a publicly reiterates its highly segmented and links its current legionnaires market to its founding tradition. Jolt. It Every April 30th, it filed its for bankruptcy in 2009, in Abonnay, after getting bogged down, La Legion Etrangère celebrates the Feast of Cameroon 
in a solemn ceremony now, that commemorates how the do founding you legend differentiate of the region. Yourself? It serves I as hope a major source of merit in pursuing a differentiation strategy its ability for yourself, to its as strategy opposed to a all low levels strategy. of the organization. Now there is and merit in focusing and sharpening yourself how to link as those opposed who to make the strategy all things to all people those approach. who execute it. This is a major step along the way to developing competitive advantage. We've used that term a lot in this lecture. It means something that you can do better than anyone else. Something that is not easily replicable. It may not even be a single talent or skill. Instead, it could be a combination of activities that, together, give you a source of advantage. Now, regardless of the source of your competitive advantage, you must drill down until you discover it, and then focus on it relentlessly. You have the advantage of being able to change yourself. And by this, I mean you can specialize. You can aggregate your talents, your skills, your experiences, and you can position yourself accordingly. Your first step is to take stock of your resources and capabilities and assess whether they match your intentions. Do you have what is called strategic fit? This is very much what a company does when it searches for its competitive advantage. You want to discover your own competitive advantage. You want to align your resources and capabilities with your intentions because when you do, you have achieved the best possible circumstances for crafting and successfully executing your strategy. To help you achieve this, I leave you with a task. I want you to develop your own USP, your unique selling proposition. This is another way to think about your core mission. It is your one sentence description of what you offer people that few others can match. Now think of famous product USPs. Avis, We Try Harder, BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Mercedes-Benz, German Engineering, Bounty, the quicker picker-upper, Folgers, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Now, to get you started on your own USP, ask yourself a series of questions. What is it I love to do? What am I good at? What category can I own? What word will people associate with me? Now, meet up with a trusted friend who is similarly motivated as you. Interview each other and develop a USP for your friend. Your friend, in turn, develops one for you. Now, this is sometimes the best way of going about your skills inventory. None of the fundamental strategies we've discussed fits every person or situation. And that's why identifying your own fundamental strategy is one of the single most valuable steps you can take. So don't put it off. Do it right now.